Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam with a trapezoidal kind of load acting on the beam. So the dimension of the beam are given to us. The total length of the beam is 8 meter. We see here that is 2 meter here and then the uniformly varying load that is trapezoidal load is acting on the beam over the length of 4 meter and then again there is 2 meter without any load on the beam. So, so and there are two support reaction A and B and we want to analyze this beam by finding out the support reaction here are A and RB. So, so this is our requirement that to find out the support reaction at both ends. Now here is a bit complicated kind of load. There is no uniformly distributed load or pointed load. So it is a trapezoidal load. So we can do like this. There is a trapezoidal load. We can change this load into two loads. Like for example, one is uniformly varying load and one is, I mean one is rectangular load and one is triangular load. So we just divide this load into two loads. So if I draw the load, this is the load. It's like this. Here the magnitude is 2 kN per meter. Here is 4 kN per meter. And this this distance is 4 meter. We see here 4 meter. So what we do here, we divide and split this load into two categories. So this is 1 and this is 2. So first we have to find out their loads. So the 1 is, this is 1. So first I have to find out the 1. So the 1 load is the area of this rectangle. We will just find out the area of this rectangle. So it is it will be equal to the area of the rectangle of 1 will be equal to the base into height because it is rectangle. So it will be the base is here is 4 meter and height here is 2. So it is comes out to be 8 is the area of this first rectangle. Now in the second case we will find out the area of the second one. So here is the area of the second one, this one triangle, so we will find out the area of triangle, area of triangle can be found out by half, base into height, now in this case, half, base is again 4 meter, which is again 4 meter is the base here, multiplying it with the height, now the height of the rectangle, this triangle is this one, so it means, so this one is the base point, so it will be 2 minus 4 so the height will be equal to 2 because we will subtract this 4 4 starting from here at from this base to this base it is 4 and from here to there it is 2 so we subtract 2 from 4 so this height this height comes out to be 2 so here we can write height is 2 so simply we'll find out we'll cut this 2 so we got 4 so we got two different areas. One is 8. The load acting here is 8 kN and the load acting from the triangle is 4 kN. So I can write also here kN, kN. So these are the loads that we got it here. One is here from the rectangle 4 kN and one load is acting here from the triangle from the two this is from the two, this is from the first one. So this load from the first one, it is 8 kN. And from the second one, we have 4 kN load. So we change the whole trapezoidal load into two loads. One is rectangle and one is triangle. So now we can go and solve our, our problem. So if I delete these values. So now... Just using the equilibrium equation, let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to 0. And the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. So let's suppose at this point moment is equal to 0. So we start from this point. So the R beam creates a moment about point A. It will go in the upper direction. And around A, it will go like in this way. So it is moving in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be minus because we choose that the anticlockwise direction is negative. So minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from B point to A. 
which is 2 meter plus 4 meter plus 2 meter which the total here is 8 and then there are some other loads that create the movement about point A which is this rectangle and triangle one is this rectangle load we side before this rectangle load so this was 8 kN newton my this was plus because this load creates a moment about point A in the clockwise direction so it will be plus so we wrote it here plus 8 kN is the load multiplying it with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this midpoint of the load from this midpoint of the load to the point A so this is 2 meter is here and this is 4 meters so we divide the 4 by 2 so this distance from here to there is 2 is this one plus we divide the 4 by 2 so we also got 2 so this distance is 4 so now the other movement the other load that creates a moment is also this one triangular load it's also create the moment in clockwise direction about point a so it will be again positive and this is 4 kN so 4 multiplying it with the moment arm now we have a bit complication here in the moment arm because this is now a triangle here the width is 4 meter so the load x at the centroid this 4 kN so the centroid means that it's act from this point up to this point at a distance of 2 third of 4 and 2 third of 4 means 2.67 so this is the load it acts from this point if I draw it let me avoid this confusion so where this load acts so from this the triangle load acts at the centroid and this distance is 2 third of 4 here this distance is always 2 third of the length so 2 third of 4 2.67 meters so this distance is 2.67 meter and this distance is 2 meter is given to us so the total moment arm is 2.67 plus 2 so we got here 4.67 is the total moment arm <clears throat> so now we got summation of moment at point a equal to 0 so now we shift this value to the right side so it will be 8 rb it will become positive and the other values comes out to be 32 plus and this comes out to be 18.68 and now we simply divide this the 8 this 2 will really divide by 8 we got 6.33 kN so this is the value here at this point 6.33 kN from the equilibrium equation we find out the reaction at B point now how to find out the reaction at A point this is still unknown to us so we can simply use here equilibrium equation of vertical forces its summation of vertical forces is equal to 0 and the upward force is positive while the downward forces are negative this is just our sign assumption here so this force is known to us rb it comes out to be 6.33 kN so the upward forces are ra and rb while the downward force is this force this whole force which was composed of two loads one was 8 one was 4 so 8 plus 4 equal to 0 the total vertical force is equal to 0 and Rb is also known to us which is 6.33 so our A plus 6.33 minus 8 minus 4 equal to 0 so now we have to shift this value into the right side so we got here Ra is equal to this will become 12 minus 6.33 so we got here Ra comes out to be 5.67 kN so this is the way how to find out the support reaction here at this point 5.67 kN here RA is 5.67 kN so hope you guys understand how to find out the support reaction for such a complicated load we have to divide this to preserve the load into two parts and then just finding out their loads and their moment up hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video